Tobo Besta, a renowned Facebook rapist who escaped from the Mongaang Correctional Center in Bloemfontein in May of last year, lived in luxury in the suburbs of Johannesburg for almost a year. Besta and his famous doctor fiancé Dr. Nendefa Megidumana led a luxurious lifestyle together because they shared an A12 million home in Hyde Park that they paid more than A40.000 per month to rent. There were high-end vehicles like Mercedes-Benz with AMG Insignia and Porsche Cayennes. After a ground-up expose in March revealed how he escaped from the G4S plant prison. Besta and Magidumana were named as people of interest. We reflect on the previous 12 months since Besta's daring jailbreak, during which he allegedly planted an unidentified body in cell 35 and then set it ablaze to try to hide the body's identity. May 2022 Besta escapes from Mongaan Correctional Center on May 3, 2022, with the assistance of G4S and Integritan staff. Among others who are accused of helping Besta escape are Integritan CCTV technician Tebogu James Lafalo and Seno Metsora. A security supervisor for G4S. Maggie Dumana and her father, Zola Sekalini, help Besta as well. Also in May, Besta relocates to one of the homes in Colerain Park, Johannesburg. That he and Maggie Dumana leased. Maggie Dumana relocates her parents from a second Hyde Park home to Colerain Park, while Besta settles into the seclusion of the 45 Hyde Park estate. Maggie Dumana asserts ownership of the body of the individual discovered in cell 35 in May of last year. This week, the parliament heard how Maggie Dumana had the body brought to a Sawito mortuary before she planned to cremate it. Now it's known that the SEPs took possession of the body after discovering that Maggie Dumana had claimed another one in April, saying it belonged to a relative, only for the body to be discovered floating in a river. Also in May, Maggie Dumana sought redress from the police by going to the North Gauteng High Court in an effort to be permitted to cremate the deceased. She had claimed to be Besta's traditional wife. But it was discovered that, according to home affairs records at the time, she was still legally married to Dr. Mkuseli Megidumana. This Monday, Judge Edwin Cameron, the head of the Judicial Inspectorate for Correctional Services, spoke before Parliament. He claimed that the police ought to have made sure Megidumana was detained for perjury based solely on the false statements she had made in court. Top police officers testified before Parliament that an affidavit produced by Maggie Dumana in the legal proceeding was signed by an officer who had left the force months previously. Despite numerous unanswered questions, police authorities tell MPs that Maggie Dumana was never questioned. June 2022 Photographs of Besta and Maggie Dumana were taken in Sentan at the Woolworth store. This is only made public in a ground-up report in March 2023. He is seen in pictures with long hair and sunglasses. July 2022 Police tested Besta's mother's DNA in the midst of the ongoing conflict with Maggie Dumana over the body. The match didn't exist. Police claimed in Parliament that Besta's mother's early lack of cooperation with the police caused the investigation to stall. According to a senior police official, this led to confusion among the officers, who began to wonder if Besta's mother was really the right person. 2022 August An examination of the body previously believed to be that of Besta, which was discovered in cell 35, reveals that the victim had been murdered despite showing no indications of smoke inhalation. The autopsy determined that blunt force trauma to the head was the cause of his demise. Judge Cameron informed SAPS and DCS in August that Besta did not pass away in cell 35. According to their preliminary investigation, Judge Cameron told MPs Judge Cameron also informed lawmakers that while the police had ordered him to keep the situation private, he had provided some details about the Besta escape with the non-profit journalism organization Crown Up. September 2022 Polisa, a dietitian from Sentan, claimed to have met Besta at her workplace. She claimed that numerous calls and texts from him and other persons for what appears to be a modeling opportunity for her led to the meeting. She reported that he arrived at her workplace sporting the same pair of sunglasses as in the grocery photo. She claimed that he brought up numerous topics during the meeting, including photo shoots, overseas travel, and property shots, all of which she found absurd. He departed when he saw she wasn't interested. G4S dismisses Matsora on the grounds that he helped Besta escape and after a disciplinary hearing in which he was unable to adequately explain some of his actions the night Besta escaped in May 2022. 2022 October 
A woman from Cape Town posts about her ordeal with Facebook rapist Tobo Bester on social media, admitting to have sex with him after being entertained by the convicted murderer. The woman said that she met Bester in Cape Town in October of last year and discussed her ordeal with one of Bester's victims under the condition of anonymity. Bester has been going by the name Casey or Cat Lego. He had told the woman she was a director of Aram Properties and drove a black Porsche SUV with Gauteng license plates together with two other young women who were in Bester's company. They had fun in Kubena and Balboa. The woman claimed that even though it was the last time she saw him, she was distraught by the circumstances and that learning of his supposed true identity and his past had startled, terrified, and disgusted her. I'm in a panic. I'm shocked and repulsed. Actually, now that I think about it, I practically gave my approval for a murderer and rapist to rape me. On both occasions that I was with him, I was thinking about the worst that could have happened to me, she claimed. According to the anonymous woman who provided the video below. It was shot on the day that she was with Pesta. Pesta and Magdumana leave the Hyde Park house in January 2023 and move back to the Coleraine Park property. In March 2023, Ground Up reports that Pesta escaped from custody. Magdumana and her two kids checked at the Hyde Park Southern Sun Hotel with Pesta. March 15, 2023. Maggie Dumana leaves her kids at school without picking them up. Incusely, Maggie Dumana's husband is contacted to pick up the kids from school on the same day. On March 16, 2023, Vesta and Maggie Dumana cross the Bike Bridge border to leave South Africa. The same day, a ground up expose reveals Vesta's prison break. March 17, 2023 The couple's whereabouts are followed into Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, by police and DCS tracking teams. Pesta and her partner enter Zambia on March 18, 2023 while traveling to Tanzania. March 26, 2023 The Department of Correctional Services eventually admits that Pesta is alive and that he did. In fact, escape from cell 35 after much earlier denial. A murder investigation is started when a dead body was discovered burning inside Bester's cell. March 29, 2023. Maggie Dumana unexpectedly misses her shift at her aesthetics company after posting a week earlier that she will be there. On April 7, 2023, Tanzanian authorities apprehend Bester, Maggie Dumana, and their accomplice from Mozambique. They are discovered to be in possession of many passports, including two belonging to DR. Pashi, actual name Marika Ncheni. Later, she alleges Magidumana stole her passport. On April 8, 2023, Matsora and Magidumana's father Sekalini are detained on suspicion of murder, facilitating Bester's escape and fraud. While Matsora is detained in Bloemfontein, Sekalini is detained in Port Edward. On April 12, 2023, Matsora and Sekalini appear in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court and are accused of murder. As the Portfolio Committee on Justice and Correctional Services gets going in Parliament, MPs have a chance to ask G4S, Integritan, JICS, DCS, and SEPs questions about Vesta's escape. Tebogo James Lefelo, an Integritron CCTV technician who is charged with tampering with CCTV cameras on the night Vesta escape, is taken into custody in Bloom later that evening. In the Northwest, police also find Magidumanus Porsche Kaye. A 28-year-old is brought in for interrogation. April 13, 2023. Pesta and Magadumana, who had been expelled by Tanzania, arrive in the early hours of the morning at Lanseria Airport with the assistance of senior police, home affairs, and corrections authorities. Pesta is taken under close police surveillance to the Kosi Memperu II prison in Pretoria. Magadumana is accused of helping an escapee, murder, mutilating bodies, and fraud. He is indicted in Bloemfontein Court. The accusations against Pesta have not yet been verified. Tebogo James Lefelo, an integratron CCTV technician who is suspected of tampering with cameras the night Pesta escaped, appeared in court with Maggie Duman. On the evening when Pesta escaped from the Mongaang Correctional Center, Lefelo is alleged to have turned off the cameras. The majority of cameras are trained on Megadumana, who hides from them by donning a mask and a jacket, while Lefelo is present on the pier.